Look at how lucky we've got you. Uh, nice big yawn. And we didn't find this young male leopard alone. It was the help of another guide, Lee, who some of you may remember. He has had a chat with us before on drive. And he actually found this young male leopard who looks to be like Shadow's cub by responding to some Impala alarm calls that he heard and he came in and investigated and got lucky and found this leopard and shortly after finding the leopard two hyena arrived onto the scene the hyena probably also responded to the Impala alarm calls and the two hyena which we can't see but which are lying nearby chased this young leopard up the tree and I think it's them that he's vocalizing at, although that is a contact call that he would use to call his mother. So who knows, maybe his mother's arriving. So it could be simply frustration at the hyena. His hearing is much better than ours, so he may be hearing the contact calls of his mother, and he may be responding by letting off his own calls. Now what is he going to do next? Uh, I'm hoping he's not going to come down the tree, because the hyena are nearby. I've just seen them poking their heads up. They're about 25 meters away from the base of this tree. like this with the beautiful morning sunlight on him is one that I'm not going to pass up so I'm busy getting my camera out what is he going to do next He may be thinking about sneaking down from this tree, which may not be the best plan he would have made, but he can very quickly sneak up another tree if need be. The hyena are still lying down. They don't seem to be watching him. But thankfully, he's maybe deciding another route down, making sure the hyena aren't actually watching him. Isn't this beautiful? I think he's just finding, trying to find an easier way down the tree. Look at this. Too good. Absolutely beautiful. heard his mother and he's wanting to respond to her and that's why he's urgent to go or urgently wants to move is he going to jump into the small bush he could <laughs> prepare yourself for an interesting landing most glamorous of descents. The hyena are still lying down but looking in this direction. But there he goes, slinking off. And the hyena are still lying down. They're not aware of where he's gone. And we're going to now do our best to stay with him. And <laughs> wasn't that really interesting? Lee, thanks so much. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good morning and thanks again. Okay. Oh, where has he gone? Oh, I can see him 
isn't it? Well, that was just absolutely awesome, folks. Who would have thought we would have been so lucky? Okay. Well, he is a small leopard. He's only eight months old, so small but in terms of age and also small in terms of body size, which means we're going to have to be careful that we don't lose him. I saw this little cub was probably about two and a half or three months ago. He's probably almost doubled in size since then. And interestingly enough, the last time I saw him, he was actually also up a tree, but up a knobthorn tree, and he was stuck up there for days because there's a hyena at the base of the tree, and they had a kill in the tree. Looks like he's thinking about possibly going up another maroon tree just on our right. He's at the base of that tree now. I'm just going to try and get into position. And there's a chance he could sneak up here as well. Oh. Incredible. So there you can see him sitting at the base of the tree. Very clever of him to move from one tree straight to another. He'll know that the hyena may have got wind that he moved, and by moving from big tree to big tree, it ensures that he has a good escape route. And again, I wonder those calls that we heard him letting out whether they were simply cause of frustration at the hyena or if he had in fact heard his mother calling him. At this stage we don't know if he's, he's seen his mother since James left him yesterday afternoon. There is a strong chance that she is still out hunting. Well, who knows, possibly he's veered or moved too far away from where she left him, and now they're having trouble finding one another. These little mishaps do happen out here in nature, but thankfully there's nothing to worry about yet. They can spend days without their mother, especially at this age, before it becomes any concern. And as far as I'm aware, he has moved a fair distance off from where James left him last night. Brian's just helping me with directions as I'm trying to focus on driving us on the path of least resistance. And Brian's doing a great job in helping keep an eye on this little leopard. It's all to our right at the moment, but it's very thick and I want to just give him a bit of space as well as try and choose the path of least resistance. Oh, I can see something else. I think I can see his mother. I can see his mother. Awesome, it's just up ahead. What's well, another leopard? Can you see it there, Brian? In the gap. And they're going to greet one another. They're going to meet up. I'm just going to move ahead into a different position. This is awesome. The mother's just up ahead. I think it's the mother. Can you see her there on that dead stump, Brian? Yep. Awesome, look at this. Now, who is it? I'm fairly... I'm fairly certain it is his mother. And that's incredible. She has been calling him from that long way off. And that's why he came down the tree. And that's why he took a chance with those hyena. And he's just at the base of the tree. He's going to jump up now. There we go. Awesome. No ways. This is too good to be true. 
for our timing to be right to see them reunite like this is an absolute jackpot incredible wow Whew. let's go get a little bit closer absolutely insane wow well, sorry about the noise as we drive over these monkey oranges it's quite a noisy plant to drive over but they all just pop up after we've passed by and we are in for a treat get ready to get your screenshots going because we are going to have an incredible sighting now Now, will she lead him and us back to a kill? There's a chance and a strong chance that that is exactly what we are going to be in for for the rest of this morning's drive. believe our luck. I cannot emphasize how awesome this is and how lucky we all are to have witnessed that. The good news is she's heading back into our property, into Juma, and I'm fairly certain she's going to have a kill stashed away somewhere. I'm just taking my jacket off quickly have heated up in terms of the weather and as well as in terms of the sighting and let's go and see what happens next snap if we were to drive over them so it may sound a lot worse than it actually is and we're actually causing minimal minimal impact on the environment here and something to bear in mind to emphasize that is that people have been off-roading sensitively for over 50 years in this area and you don't see any sign of it she is moving in one straight line will be a good indication that she knows where she's going. It also probably means that there's a strong chance that she would have actually met up with him last night at some point and known his whereabouts in order to be able to find him here as it is a fairly different position from where James left him yesterday afternoon. And this cub will also be able to smell any signs of a kill that she would have made. Her tail up, a trait that she may have picked up from her mother, Karula, another female leopard that we see, and she also holds her tail up high as she walks from time to time, a beautiful trait that 
makes for good photography. And speaking of photography, I hope you've all been getting some great screenshots this morning. If you don't know how to do a screenshot, it's worth Googling to find out on your various device. Because a lot of our viewers take some incredibly pretty screenshots. This is the young cub now. Just to remind all of you, he's eight months old. So about another year that he'll probably spend with his mother. And she's around six or seven years old. I stand to be corrected. We haven't seen her very much, and I'm terrible with these kinds of statistics. But as far as I'm aware, Shadow is about six or seven years old. And look at them playing. They just jumped onto a fallen down Marula tree. I'm going to try and get us there as quickly as possible to enjoy that sighting. Have I chosen a bad route for us to get there? No, it should be okay. But they're moving quickly, and I'm fairly confident that they are again taking us to a kill. some trouble with our game drive channel so I'm not copying messages from anyone so I'm battling to call anyone into the sighting to enjoy it with us. The radios were working a little bit earlier and that's how I knew that Lee had found this young cub but by the time we got into the area there was no way of us communicating so what we did is we simply revved engines backwards and forwards to one another until we found where we needed to be. just found him having a little toilet break. And something that's important for all of us to remember while we're enjoying the sighting is that leopards are typically very shy and elusive animals that will seldom let humans into their lives in any way or form. So for us to be enjoying this interaction, following this mother and cub, is abnormal and also a very, very great privilege. So I hope, I hope you're all enjoying this as much as we are. To be allowed into the lives of these animals with no impact whatsoever is something that, again, is unique and special to this area, and this specific reserve which is renowned for great leopard sightings. And this is certainly one of the better ones we've had for some time now. to loop us ahead of them. They're moving so quickly that it makes, makes it difficult for us to pick the right path or direction of movement in order to get you some shots. Bear with us. Yes, I'm hoping it won't be long until we find whatever it is that Shadow, his mother, has come back to collect him for. We're going to be spoiled with a good view now. Watch your head. Sorry. Apologies, folks. I believe my head was in the way of your shot there. 
are heading kind of south and east now back into Juma and I'm just trying to get my bearings I'm looking around for some big trees that I know are on Rebecca's road not too far oh look here <laughs> very playful cub now it's been interesting noticing how Shadow seems to be spending more time on the Juma property than she has in the past she predominantly used to spend more time on Arethusa, which is to our west but over the last few weeks she certainly does appear to be spending more time with us here which is great news it's not uncommon for female leopards to actually chase their mothers away from their own territory and that could be happening now it could be that Shadow is beginning to chase off Karula from her own territory let's see if we get a nice gap here I think it is going to be a good one oh, sorry Brian nearly flung Brian off the vehicle there in my excitement Absolutely beautiful. And I believe there's a lot of very beautiful screenshots being taken by all of you, so well done. And I hope you're enjoying this as much as we are. Interestingly enough, there's a bird of prey following them. And this is really awesome. It's probably going to pop into screen fairly shortly. It's a tawny eagle. And I saw it fly over earlier. Oh, look at that! I was busy looking at the eagle and then just turned back to see that little bit of action. And this is really great because it's really interesting behavior to see this bird of prey following the leopards knowing that there's a chance it could find some food and just before we drop you can see this tawny eagle and I saw it fly past earlier over them and now it's following them just like we are so not only are we following the leopards but this tawny eagle too really interesting interaction between different species here and again it's so fortunate for us to be able to witness this kind of interaction between animals not only the mother and the cub which have now disappeared out of my view <laughs> sorry about that just to the hole oh there they are And I have no doubt that this eagle is going to continue to follow them and see what it is that they are heading towards. much to Vancey for sending through your updates and info on Shadow, this female leopard. She was born in December 2006, which makes her about nine years old. So I was off with my age that I thought she was. I am going to just try and position us in front of them again. tricky to decide where to stop and the cub just plopped down onto his mother off that fallen down marula tree wow right up to us in front of the vehicle too good too good to be true
game drive channel is not working. It could just be my personal one that isn't. I'm going to ask Nikki and Final Control to tell James to try his channel one. and update the people who may be interested in coming to the sighting that we are heading towards Gowrie Main and Triple M Junction. So Nikki, Gowrie Main, Triple M Junction, that is where we are heading towards if James can try and let anyone know. We obviously want to try and share this with as many people as possible. And let's at least try that plan. Oof, they are heading into a dangerously thick plan area, which is gonna make our lives equally tricky. Okay. Cool. Okay, well Nikki sent that message through to James. Now this is a nice and thick river bed that Shadow could well have the cub nestled in. Okay, I've got a good bearing from some trees, but now we have to loop around. The trees that were in that riverbed are the kind of slow grown trees that we don't want to drive over. So we're going to have to do a bit of a detour and just bear with me as I try and find a way across this little riverbed. Enjoy these last few glimpses as it may be the last shots we have of them.
So they're about to cross south over Gauri Main Road. Just about 50 meters east of Triple M Junction. And isn't this awesome? Now, there is a chance that they could pop back onto a property where we can drive. Now, it's impossible to tell whether she will or she won't, but she needs to head a little bit further to their right in order to head on to Arethusa and that is possible. going to do is drive along the boundary road and just make sure that she doesn't pop back onto Arethusa at any stage. And also just make a little space for the vehicles approaching the sighting. They've got our messages. So apologies for that. But they did get our messages from, from James. Sorry about that, Craig. All right, no problem. is still holding on only just after all that bundu bashing is what we call it as a term for driving through the bush as we have been um, what we're hoping for now is the leopard she has been continuing in a southerly direction which is the direction this road faces in but there is a slight chance that she could veer to the right on the right is Arethusa where we can go on the left is no man's land for us. But I'm not going to give up just yet. And I'm hoping that they may just veer towards us here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop in line with the termite mound that they're heading towards. And there's a chance that they would maybe run up that termite mound as leopards enjoy the vantage points. But it's quite thick in there, so we can't really see the termite mark from here. Whew. And while we stop and wait, we can take a moment to breathe and reflect on what a Absolutely wonderful sighting that was. Now help us and keep your eyes peeled in this thick vegetation. You could well get a glimpse of these leopards before we do, so we need all the help we can get. What I'm going to do is just pull over because there is another vehicle behind us, so I want to just make space for them. How's it going? Yeah, good, good. Hello everyone. Hello. Huh? They've been heading straight south parallel to Triple M. But and I mean it wasn't far, we were parked there fifty meters fifty meters away. Um but still heading south. So they could pop out here and that's what I'm hoping for. Sorry? No, none of my channels are working. Okay, folks, well, while we clean the lens and try and find these methods again, we're going to link back to James and we'll catch up with you all a little bit later.